Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Europe Vlogs. Now, this is episode 2, but it's actually episode 1 because this is before the previous Europe Vlog. Um, so this is us on our flight from DC to JFK and then JFK to London. So the OG beginning. Um, here we are in the airport getting ready for our um, overnight flight from, I think it was like 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. or something like that. Um, so it was a long flight and we decided that we were going to try to knock ourselves out. So we took some sleepy time tea, as you saw. We had a couple beers. We took an Advil PM. Um, sketchy combo for sure, but that is what we did. And it was okay. We were in basic economy, so it, you know, it, it wasn't pleasant, but we survived it, thankfully. And here we are in the Stansted Airport. So we just hopped on the tube and got to our accommodation. And yeah. As you can see, bags are off. We're free. We're here and we're getting some food because we have five hours to kill until we can check in. So pray for us, please. So we are going to, what is that place called? The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Um, and then we're going to go to a yarn store to pick up some yarn so that we can continue our crocheting and knitting adventures because we have to, it's an obsession. Exactly, knitting abroad. That's what this this whole thing is going to be titled, just us knitting. So yeah, it should be fun. And look at this cute canal. Wow. Bag has been secured. This is not a good angle. Got We've work. got the goods. We're now on the way back. I'm so excited to crochet, but I must take a nap first or else I might go insane. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep you updated. What do we think? What do we think, everyone? Does this look normal? What do we think, YouTube? Please let me know in three seconds. Thanks, bye. Okay, so we made it. Um, we just finished taking a couple hour nap that was very necessary. Sorry, I'm still figuring out where the fuck to look because I'm looking at myself right now and it just, it's weird. Um, this is our place. Really big and spacious and it's doing the job quite fine. The only thing is there's no air conditioning, which, you know, spoiled of me to complain, but there's like a heat wave that's coming around town today and we are just in time for that. So we're just trying to move slowly and take it one step at a time. We're about to leave and go meet up with our friends for a little pre, for praise. Do you know what praise means? Mm -mm. Praise in British slang, it means pretty game. So we're gonna go do that with our friends and then go to some Indian place and yeah and we're gonna slap those patches on that you saw in my last video so that we are kind of caffeinated and ready to go so in the evening time we met up with our friends that live in london um and we got some beers and then went to a kebab house which was delicious and it was byob that's why we got the beers um and there's some like soccer tournament that was going on that was apparently important i don't really know um, but yeah, we went out with them. It was really fun, but we were really tired. So we called it a night pretty early. I think I honestly can't remember um, But we just got home and then this is the next day I put on my overalls and we headed over to the British Museum to look at some very beautiful but mostly stolen artifacts um, So we met up with our friends again. It was a beautiful day except it was very hot again. It was still a fun time saw some great things and um, yeah.
The next day, we went to Weatherspoon's restaurant in um, Camden Market to get a good old-fashioned uh, British breakfast. What, what do you call that? I don't know. Full British breakfast. Yeah. So we got that. Um, and then we met up with our friends again and headed to Brighton Beach where we wandered through the little town. It was so, so cute and funky and had really cool shops and stuff. And then um, we went over to the beach. It was surprisingly foggy and cold even, um, whereas London was literally almost like 100 degrees, like at least 90 degrees. It was unbearable, which is why we went to the beach in the first place, but it was just like such a drastic difference for only being two hours away. Then we went to the uh, little pier. Um, they had like an arcade and stuff. But we basically just relaxed on the beach the whole day um, with our friends and it was just very fun. And then we took the train back and said goodbye to our friends. Um, and this is our last day in London. So we just grabbed some food at this food stall, um, kind of market type place. And it was really nice. I don't know if you can hear that. Anyway, it's a sweet sound of construction outside my goddamn bedroom. <sighs> This Airbnb has been a little bit of a nightmare. There's just been construction that's been waking us up every morning, and amongst other things like you no know, toilet paper and the smell of sewage coming from the bathroom and other things. But regardless, um, today we're going to France, and I'm really excited because it's hot as a motherfucker out here in England, and I cannot deal with it anymore. So anywhere with relief or AC. I'm just excited to go to. And we were off. So we went to the station um, and got our train to Paris. It was not that smooth of a um, s uh, entry to the train. Um, like the last time that I went there, it was before Brexit. So they, you could just literally hop on a train. Like there was no security or anything. But since Brexit, they had... Um, you know, security, like you had to go through a whole different security thing and go through customs and all this shit just to get to Paris on the Eurostar. Star. So it was just insane. Um, but we finally made it and hopped on the train with our MS food. God bless. I love MS, even though it was a shit show in there. They have the best food ever. So we had ourselves a nice little lunch and crocheted the day away until we got to Paris. We had a few hour layover in Paris, so we stopped for some raspberry sorbet and an Aperol spritz. And then we got back onto our train to Bonn, France, which was our next stop, again in first class. We wanted to treat ourselves, so we got some wine and water and watched the French countryside go by until we got to Bonn. So Bonn is near the city of Dijon, which you might have heard of Dijon mustard, but that was just a little sign of Grey Poupon because this is the mustard region of France. Um, so we actually went to a little mustard shop the day that we left so that we could bring it and have it with our charcuterie on the train. But that evening we took a walk into the old town of Bonn and went to some restaurant that our Airbnb host actually recommended to us. And it turns out that Jordan actually went to this exact same restaurant the last time he was in Bonn. Luckily it was really good. Jordan got some escargot, I got something with the creamy broth and then I got some potatoes au gratin and he got some duck. And we also, of course, had to add the cheese plate into the creefy menu. Had to get some creme brulee. It was delish. I got like a raspberry mousse cake. Um, but yeah, it was so good. So we only stayed in Bonn for one night and then the next day we got up and got our charcuterie and got on the next train. Okay, so this day of trains was quite a lot. I'm gonna try to summarize it. We were supposed to get on a train and we looked on the timetables and it said three hour delay. We had to hop on a different train, which then stopped at like the next station and they told everybody to get off and then told us to get on another train. That one stops and gets canceled. And we asked this ticket holder lady, she was like, okay, take these three trains, but she said that 
there was like a seven and a nine minute connection in between them. Our first one was delayed so much that we missed the second one. And then when we tried to get to the second one, it was like 40 minutes late too. So finally we stop in Chambéry, France. Not at all along our original route. We found an Airbnb, rented it out. They said it had AC, but it did not. But it was a place to sleep and we had a long ass day. And after all, it wasn't so bad. You can see this beautiful dinner that we had just staring up, you know, to these giant mountains in the Alps. Um, you know, can't really complain too much. That's it for this one, but stay tuned for the next vlog, which is going to be in Croatia, where we sailed on a boat with 10 random strangers. It was a time.